Putting North Dakota first. KX News at 10 starts now. Good evening, I'm Renee Cooper. Thanks for watching KX News. Leading our coverage tonight, protests sparked by the in-custody death of George Floyd are still happening around the world. And today, high school students in rural North Dakota kept the momentum going. PJ Walker was there and has all the details. Rugby North Dakota is one of the last places anyone might have expected to see a racial justice protest, which is exactly why organizers planned it. Why not? There shouldn't be a reason why we shouldn't bring it here. It's not a negative thing. In fact, it's extremely positive. Kate Heidelbaugh is a recent graduate of Rugby High School, and like many others, she says she was outraged by the injustices seen across America. We want to stand in solidarity with those who are part of the Black Lives Matters movement. Close to 50 people gathered in the streets of Rugby for a peaceful march, some from far and some from near, chanting the names of those who died at the hands of police officers. One of the marchers was Jared Munson from Botno. I think we're all here for the same reason, and that's to end the systematic and institutionalized oppression of colored people. Another organizer of the event says the response from the community was mixed, some supporting the march and others speaking out against it. She says the comments pushed her to do the march and change the mindset of small towns across the world. Small towns are, are not exempt from activism. Even though there were some people lined along the streets of the town who disagreed, Melody Johnson says being being silent isn't an option for her. White people like me, it's our responsibility to get rid of racism. Like, black people don't deserve this. Like, this should have been gone so many years ago. And with voices like hers being echoed across the world, change is on the way. PJ Walker, KX News. Well, the marchers had police officers there to escort them around town as they marched. Both organizers say the event was a peaceful and powerful display of love for all people. Well, in middle